Hi everyone, I hope you have had a good week. Uh, we've got another video now uh, looking at emotions and we're going to think a bit about guilt. Now have you ever thought to yourself, I really wish I hadn't have done that or I shouldn't have said that. Maybe you've broken something or you've lost something and then you've told a lie to cover it up. Or maybe if you have a brother or sister, you've done something wrong before and then put the blame onto them. Have you ever done that? I have definitely done that with my sister. Maybe you've done something or you've said something and you knew it was wrong to do it and you did it anyway. Can you think of other times when you might feel guilty for something that you've done or that you've said? And in those times, did you find it easy to say sorry? Maybe you think it depends on who it is that you are saying sorry to, but is saying sorry something that you find easy or hard to do? Now there's a story in the Bible about a boy who had to say sorry. You can find it in Luke chapter 15, but I'll give you a little overview now and then if you want to read it another time, you can read it in more detail. But there was this boy who went and he asked his dad for his share of his inheritance of his money. And now usually you wouldn't get that while the parent was still alive. So him going to his father and asking for this wasn't a very kind or respectful thing for him to be doing. But he asked his dad for the money and the dad gave him the money. And then the son left home. He went and he partied. And he got lots of friends around him because he had all this money that he was wanting to spend. But then one day, all the money was gone. He'd spent it all and his friends left him. They weren't really his friends. And he had to get a job. And the only job he could find was feeding the pigs. Hmm, don't know if that would be a job that I would like to do. So there he is feeding the pigs. He knew that he had done wrong. He was feeling guilty. He hadn't shown his dad any respect. He had wasted the money. He had run away from home. And there he was feeding the pigs. And he had a few options at this point. He could stay feeding the pigs. He could try and find another job. Or he could go back home and say sorry to his dad. Which do you think is the hardest of those three options? What do you think you would have done? Well, the boy decided to go home and to say sorry to his dad. And this must have been really hard for him to do. He didn't know how his dad was going to react. But as the boy got close to home, the dad saw him and he ran towards him and he gave him a big hug. Now, have you ever been worried about saying sorry to someone? And it actually turned out so much better than you thought it was. Maybe you were really, really nervous and you got yourself all worked up. I have to say sorry or what are they going to do? What are they going to say? Maybe they were really kind towards you and it went better than you expected it would. I imagine the boy in the story would have been very surprised when his dad came running towards him and gave him a great big hug. He had felt guilty because of the way he would behaved. But then when he said sorry, he felt so much better. And when you feel guilty, you have two choices. You can try and hide your guilt and hope that no one will find out what you did or what you said. Or you can own up, you can say sorry, and then you can face the consequences that might come because of that. The second one, even though it can be really hard, is the better option to own up, to say, I did this and I'm really sorry. Because otherwise you might live with this really guilty feeling that can feel awful inside. But when we confess, when we say we are sorry, some of that guilt can be taken from us. We're forgiven. And even if we might face consequences, be told off, face some kind of punishment, it's over. We've said sorry and you don't need to feel that guilt anymore. And we all get things wrong, don't we? We all do things and we mess up. We do things that we know we shouldn't do. And God knows all of those things that we do. He knows everything about us. And he knows what it is that we might be feeling guilty about. But when we tell him that we are sorry, what do you think God does? When we say to God, I'm sorry, I did this. He is like the father in the story. He forgives us no matter what we have done wrong. Isn't that amazing news? 
maybe right now, as you've been listening to this, you can think of something that you have done wrong. Maybe it was a long, long, long time ago in the past, or maybe it was something, maybe even today that you've done, and you're feeling a bit torn up inside. You think, I shouldn't have done that, I said this and I did wrong. What you can do is, after this video, you can spend some time talking to God, telling him how sorry you are and asking him to forgive you. You can get a piece of paper and you could write down on that piece of paper that thing that is that you have done wrong. And you can then talk to God as you hold this bit of paper, tell him how sorry you are, ask him to forgive you and scrunch up that bit of paper, go and throw it away somewhere in the bin. You don't need to feel guilty about that thing anymore. So can I really encourage you to spend some time chatting with God because he will always be there. He always will listen to you when you come and talk to him. So why don't you spend some time praying to Gay? And just remember the good news is that he will forgive us when we come to him and say sorry. And as we go to other people as well and say sorry, we can ask God to be with us when we have to face up to what we've done wrong. Maybe if it's to a parent, to a teacher, to a friend, whoever it might be, if there's someone that you think you need to say sorry to, you can ask God to help you to be brave as you go and do that. So there's a few things for you to be thinking about today. You can go back and read the story in a bit more detail as well in Luke 15 about the, the prodigal son, it's often called, the lost son who went away and came back. And you can spend some time chatting with God. I hope you have a really, really great day and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.